Today, I'm gonna to show you my scuba gear, so let's go. In the past year and a half, I've had 127 dives and been underwater for 75 hours. If you're gonna be diving more than 20 times a year, invest in your own gear. You'll be more familiar with how it works and it'll be cheaper. So the gear I'm gonna be showing you today is from hours of experience and the expertise of the local dive shop. The motive behind this is buy nice or buy twice. For the first set of equipment, I recommend personalized equipment. Personalized because you're gonna be using it on yourself and especially during COVID, you wanna be sharing with someone. And I went with a single frame goggles. That way it's easier to defog your goggles versus a dual frame one. Over here is a dry top snorkel that prevents the wire from going down. For the regulator, for the first stage and second stage, I went with the aquatic, Atomic Aquatics V2 regulator. And the cool thing about this one is it has a feature where when you put it underwater, it doesn't free flow and you don't have to change it from a pre-dive to dive setting. And for the alternate air, it went with the durable aqua lung puck and it's super reliable. For fins, anything would do, but the one I prefer is the one with the bungee strap, which allows it your feet to go in and out a lot easier. A pair of booties, that way it keeps your feet warm. A pair of socks, that way it's easier to slip in, slip in and out of your wetsuit. And Kevlar gloves. Kevlar because they're a lot more durable. They're more abrasion, abrasion resistant, and I used these to go the gear I get excited most for is the BCD and here I got the Scuba Pro Hydros Pro and the cool thing is that it's a travel BCD that fits into this backpack. I can fit all my gear in here to go traveling and the cool thing about this is it's very thin, modular, has integrated weight pockets and it has a lot of attachment points for accessories. Diving in SoCal can be cold so when you are diving invest in a high quality wetsuit is seven millimeter. And then the one I went with is the Henderson Aqua Lock Quick Dry and has a quick drying feature in the, on the inside and usually is dry in 15 minutes, pretty crazy. Over here, a hooded vest that you wear over and it has a hood to prevent the water from flowing in. Lastly are the accessories. It makes my BCD look like a Christmas tree. The first one is the dive computer. I went with the entry level Mars Pack Pro that does the job. The flashlight is an Orca Torch dive light, super bright, has two settings, a Trident retractable compass, and over here is a titanium knife. That way it doesn't rust. And I attach my car keys on my BCD whenever I go shore diving. The funnest accessory is the pry bar, which I used to go hunt for scallops and uni. And for safety, it needs to signal for help if you need to, which is a GPS beacon for boat diving, and also a SMB, a surface marker buoy, and on top of that, an audible signaling device. So there you go, all my dive equipment and reasons why I prefer those.